up guys welcome back we are bringing the heat today um so we are going to start on a new project and i know some of you are like man you guys should finish one we know that but we are also excited and we want to get this other project going i cannot wait to show you what it is and what we're doing today so this track um that i'm gonna uh, we're about to show you Corey bought it a while ago and for one of his projects. Well, the project we're getting ready to put this truck with, it actually, I don't know. Um, I originally wanted a 24 valve for my truck, but it's hard to find a 24 valve manual in the right price. So Corey and I were driving this truck around and I'm like, dang, this thing drives She's took good. my truck. No, he, he, Corey offered me this truck and I said, well, how could I ever turn that down? So... This truck is going to be the donor truck for my okay. welder rig. So anyways, I cannot wait to show you. We've got to get this thing started. And actually, Jim came over um, to get his backhoe because Corey and I have been hoarding it at our house. And Corey told him what we're doing, and Jim's excited too. So he's here to help today. And I can't wait to get but this But while thing I get started. this thing tore apart, you get to clean out your stinky, crappy truck. Yeah, I'm not excited truck. about that. Here it is. We have our... 1995 international this one is a um, dt 466 motor and it has i think they call them a six plus transmission um the plus is i think reverse really um <laughs> but anyway <laughs> i don't think that's yeah right. that's the plus reverse you're six a, gears plus reverse is my theory but anyways um so it used to be a box truck and the box is off of it we didn't take it off this is how corey bought it and I am really excited because we've been driving this thing and it really yeah. drives good. And yes, we've been driving it with no doors. Yeah, it's like, I mean, Jeeps get away with it. Why can't we in a semi? <laughs> this has been, it's been a good little truck. We've been kind of using it around here a little bit and going to the gas station back and forth, just kind of testing it out. And our original plan was to drive this to Florida, put some doors on it and a new hood and paint it flat black. But instead... Instead, we're, we were talking and we're like, man, I wish we could get something else out you know and something quick and he said well your welder truck really wouldn't be that hard if we put the motor and trans you know everything underneath of it yeah, and use everything the yeah. wiring and everything i mean so it's not going to cost really a whole lot of money just our labor and time i cannot wait to get this thing on the road i, I know i bought this for trains. me yeah. and then you took it but you offered it to me and frank i'm a good a husband truck out there you are a wonderful husband <laughs> Uh, but I must be a good wife if you're offering me the I know. coolest thing. I know. But anyways, um, he doesn't know which truck he wants to use. So we're like, you know what? Let's... Um, this will be a good truck. And you're wanting to keep yeah, your truck around. And mine. Hannah don't... If it's automatic, she don't want it. The mousetrap's borderline. She rather had a manual in it. But for the price and what we were doing, we went with the automatic. And then when this truck came in, she's like eyeballing it hard and i was like uh i lost that truck yeah after he let me drive it it was over from yeah. there well hop in it and let's take it to the shop and tear it apart by the way we only pay like 1500 bucks for this truck so we got a good deal on it yeah. and it runs and drives perfect it is an air brake truck but i guess uh let's go to the shop and tear it down it starts up super quick too i can't even find the key homie and this truck hasn't been started for a little bit. It's been sitting here. What are you doing? I'm trying to scoot the seat up. Just drive it. Uh, we're going to prime it or anything? That's a good truck right there. Looks like either a snake or bird then. Bird. <laughs> Well, I would have ripped it out and threw it on you. Excuse the beeping. We're waiting. Like I was saying, it is an air ride truck, so we got to wait for the gauge to get past 60. Hit the yellow button. We'll release the brakes, of course. It is a six plus truck. The plan is to use a steering column and everything out of this truck. It's a good truck. It's got good tires. It'll be a perfect chassis swap for your welding rig. And then yeah. once we get up there, you might introduce your welding rig again. Light and 
This is a really nice truck. Like, yeah, it's kind of crappy, but it's got a perfect drivetrain. The last time you were going to be driving it for a bit. Watch out, Buckley! Back up just a shade because we're gonna have to hook it right in the middle. Right there. <laughs> I'm jealous. Shut her down. Hey, when do I? Don't worry, we'll take good care of you. Hey, when's the part when I get to be cool? Mommy, you are cool. Tell married to you. No. <laughs> Thing uh, is. Corey said the 41 Dodge is going to be his, but um, right now the mousetrap is his since the 41 is in that. Hey, let's go show him the welder rig then. Okay, let's go, let's go. Do oh, it. I would have failed. You I got... failed the inspection. Three <laughs> points on the truck. I figured you're going to do like a kickflip out of there. And break my legs and then we really are going to have a delay. Alright, so show him what truck we're using. Jimmy's, Jimmy's ready for destruction. Come on over to the teal factory. So, while Corey and Jim are taking the body off of that truck, I have my work cut out for me. This is a welder truck. If you haven't been watching, if you're new here, welcome. Um, this is the welder truck. I don't know, oil truck, something. It's really cool that I bought in Kansas um, when we were at... Silas's. Yeah, so Silas, I was trying to think, Adventure Made from Scratch is probably how a lot of you might know him. That's his YouTube and his business. But we were walking and this thing caught my attention. I don't know why. Could have been the collar, could have been the rest. Maybe a little bit of both. And Corey spoke for something, which was his Federal. And I said, well, I want that truck then. He said, was it even nice? I don't know. I just, I just. I was really it. hoping when it showed up here it was nice because you wired in the money and. Yeah. This it thing ended up being pretty nice. heavier than a house. Um, but anyways, this is what we're working with. That. Yeah, we don't care about gonna that. It's going to go. Yeah, but there is a lot of room underneath there. We're going to need it to get that giant radiator out of that truck. Yeah. So while Hannah cleans this out, Jim and I are going over there. So I'm handing the phone over to you Hannah. Just wait till you see in here. So, Let's just show them. Right all right, we'll show them that. Okay. She wants to put Hannah Wheat Customs on the doors of it. Yeah, I mean, I wish you guys could smell this. It is like, I, I am really not looking forward to it, but I can't wait to see what it looks like afterwards. Um... Look at, the mouse, loaded it? look at the mouse turrets. Hold on. Yeah. Look how giant the mouse like, turrets look are. Look at these. Those yeah. are, those what, are fresh. What? Um, But anyways, when we unloaded it, thank God the guy who unloaded it, you know, did it because the, the brakes went out, the clutch, whenever he let go of the clutch to stop it, it kept going. Um, but I pulled the headliner down to sit on it just because I didn't want to sit on more poop. <laughs> well, here so, you go. Take the phone, take them along with you cleaning this. If you find anything cool, show them. They and... underwear are really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so another reason we do need to get this cleaned out is, um, I don't know if you can see, but that's, um, for those of you, oh, thank you. For those of you who hate the word, I'm sorry, but it's looking a little moist in here, okay? And I don't want it to rot out the bottom of the door, but I don't want it to eat into it any more than it has to, I'm sure. The floor is probably pretty rough just because this is already getting kind of gross. But let me go get my hazmat suit on and we'll be right back. I had to come get my handy dandy tripod standy. And we are going to clean out the truck finally. The gloves I found, I probably need like big rubber gloves, but um, you know, I think the poop stink is just, I, I probably need a whole, you know, hazard outfit, but for now, these gloves are the only thing I could find. All right, I'm not going to bore you to death, um, so we, I'm going to be time-lapsing this because unless I find something like really cool and interesting or like an anaconda or something, um, 
then I'm gonna be time lapsing this because this might take a while. So here we go. Okay, so I'm having them move this truck forward just so you don't get She's interrupting me, trying to my rear end the whole time, cleaning the truck out, and I'll need to move it forward anyways. Yeah, I got a tarp just because as I'm pulling stuff out, all of this is just flooding out of it. So I've got to put a tarp under it for everything that comes out. But I mean, as you can see, it was thick in there. I don't know if you all can see. I mean, oh my. It's just a lot. I do love the old welding helmet. I'm definitely keeping that. because these, I don't know if it was attacked by a porcupine. I don't know, they hurt. Whatever kind of Kansas plant that is, I hope it ain't gonna pollinate right here. It's like a high of 86 today and I love to be hot, but being hot and cleaning this and the dust, it's sticking to me and I'm really grossed out. All right, here's the floor after it's been swept. As you can see, I clearly have a lot of work to do over there. We're gonna get Corey's reaction on the floor. First, we're gonna go check on them, see how they're doing. How's it coming? Getting there. <laughs> Don't look wow. like we got much done, but we got steering columns out of it. We're working on getting Dang. all the wiring out of the other side. My plan is to use everything. So that means you'll have, this will be the first build with uh, windshield wipers. What about um, the floor? Are we going to use the floor? Of this truck? No. That truck? Yeah. Why? What do you think? Is it rotted out? Come look at it. I might be using Go to the passenger side, because that's the one I've got clean. You were supposed to look at this before you bought it. Tell me. Is it bad? Just tell me what you think. Oh, wow. It's good. I know. Ain't that exciting? <laughs> you had me scared. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm thinking giant hole. I was on the way over here. I'm thinking, well, we could graft this floor. <laughs> Ain't that that's exciting? Pretty, it's pretty really nice. Yeah. I do need to take the seat out because it's just too much crap won't come it out of like there. a totally different truck. I know. I know. It like you almost... You me scared. I thought... <laughs> <laughs> it's almost borderline like I would maybe sit in that and ride in that on a trip right now. Well, you can always take... We can always have that seat covered with the material you like. Yeah, but like I said oh, to... Oh, the shifter. The shifter? Well, the shifter, I might. it might be back further. We don't know yet. And plus... I'm going to have to ride all the way to Florida in the dash because Shorty Bob here. <laughs> um, but yeah, can't I was call, excited. Can't call her homie too oh, much. Oh, gosh. Get in trouble, so we're going to try corn dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was really impressed. I'm really excited um, that the floors are good. Hopefully, the driver's side is just as nice. I got a question. Uh -huh. When do we eat? Today? When we work for you. I told you. I asked I'm you if sorry. you were hungry. That was... Five hours ago. Corey, it was not. So now that I'm working for Hannah. Uh, Are you working we, we for me? Eat, yeah, this is your project. So can we get pizza or something? I mean. I'm starving. Well, drink some I'm water. i to go on strike. Drink some water. <laughs> drink some water. Yeah, that'll do me good. <laughs> Minnie. Minnie don't even have Have food. a corn dog. Minnie, I feel your pain now. <laughs> So that's the 
Canyon's taking a sacrifice. Yeah. Got Canyon. my. You're smashing everything. What? The hood, you're good. You have to raise the mast back back up. Raise the thing like this. There you go. Keep going. Now back out of it. You're there. There you go. Certified forklift driver. Absolutely. Look like you learn from the best. You better watch your toes. All right, park her out of the way. You need a safety harness. Yeah, you need uh, a safety harness. Did these ever have that? I think there in 19. People not that stupid back then. In 1968, Look you out. didn't have one. So I know Hannah's been taking you along on this journey of her cleaning it out and whatnot, but it's time for this thing to say goodbye to his chassis so we're pulling it over right now to take the chassis off uh or take the cab off the chassis we're gonna have to get rid of we're gonna have to cut that thing off what are we doing about that we're just cutting that huh? we gotta cut that thing off the cab or something what thing? this little thing on top because oh. it ain't gonna i don't think that thing is gonna make or break the oh. truck honey. Well, well we gotta cut it off to get it under there i'm thinking we gotta take the cab off and that's in the way Bronzing rods. We'll take them in. There's a bunch. We'll take 3,500. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, my dad would buy no, like five of them at a time. Well, look how cool the old welding helmet. Oh, nice. You have to wear it while you drive this. Hey, I got a dumb question. Why don't we just take the bed off first? Because then maybe, I don't know. Because then we wouldn't have to worry about this thing. Unless you want that thing up there. Or you want it all? I don't need that thing. What, what's that thing doing? I don't know. So, cab is clean as it's going to get right now. This stupid light is coming off. I like the light. put it on there. That's where it used to be. <laughs> that wasn't even for this. Yeah, it was. Look, it has a hole. Cool. We well, can't leave the yellow light? No. <laughs> Gross. Um. Anyways, Corey um, got up here. He's like, do you want this? Because gonna make it pretty hard to get the cab off no i do not want this and um, while he's up here he's like i don't even know what that is it is a spare tire carrier you that see is, the lug nuts on it now yeah so Corey's like you know what that is that's that i, I think I'm we should leave that too Corey. i am not going to be able to get a tire off no of i'll hop up there unbolt it and then hand it to you on the side of the road that's my light get off my light hey it's broken. It can't be on there. I have a red one in the shop. I know you do. Can we put that one on no. there? This truck wants a light. It will have two headlights and five cab lights. Well, you need cab lights. Yeah. You, you don't I have know. no lenses. Yes. Of course. So, of course, this was a welding oil something truck. The welder will go in here. We do have someone who said... They have one, they'll give to us. But, but I lost their number. Yeah, but Corey lost their number. So if that is you, call Corey. Actually, just message me on YouTube and I'll look for the message. Yeah. Um, anyways, the air compressor will be going because the new truck has onboard air. But we're going to use the same reel yeah, and have the air. the reel is really, is really cool. So we're going to use it. We're, we're going to use the side, of... we're going to use these side boxes, but then kind of our trailer this has to be removed so these might stay but pretty much the center section's going but these might stay yeah it i don't know i mean to pull the trailer and be able to turn we kind of need to remove some things so this thing's stock height i'm in boots too in the hood my head so the door handles i'm five three and a half five four always got to throw in that half and um it's a 
big tall truck. I think we even said it is gonna get taller once we put it on the new frame. So how exciting, I'll be up with the truckers. Oh, oh, booty pop. Here comes Jim, you better hurry. you go. Oh. Homie. That Oh my. Whoa. Is that really hot? Oh, shit. I guess you could save these in case you ever want to use them. I mean, I won't use them for this, but they'd be cool for something. Oh, yeah. She'll be Yo. making something. Yeah, well. Them can be more um, poles for signs when I get a bunch of signs. You'll have light, or more signposts to set. That's right. Um, about killed you on the last one. <laughs> It's just awkward. Yeah. No, what's yeah, wrong with you guys? They don't look heavy, but it's, <laughs> there's some weight there. Well, now it's real ugly. Yeah. It's, it's always been ugly. Homie. <laughs> no, it ain't. Oh, I got. I gotta call you. What should I call you, Turkey? Yeah. Can't say homie too Sweetheart. much in my video. Sweetheart. Baby us doll. Out. I'm gonna call you baby doll. Okay. People calling you out for saying that? Yeah, they said this video would be better if you didn't call each other homie all the time. Yeah, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> me. We don't have pterodactyls here. Yeah, we do. Hannah thinks there's a pterodactyl on the property. If you heard it, you would too. <laughs> it over there out of the way. turn when it's moving i am trying so i'm doing this a little bit different i'm trying to get the cab off by leaving the cab mounts attached to the truck because the frame rails are three foot on this chassis and three foot on the other chassis so by just removing removing them from the frame be quiet removing them from the frame i'll be able just to transport the cab with its mounts onto the other frame you done making noises no Corey has himself. You need some hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, you do. Well, we almost have the cab off. Everything is unbolted and on fire. 
<laughs> and uh, probably gonna call it a night tonight just because there's a few little things that may need addressed that we can't see. Like the fire? That's fine. Stinks. Yeah. Golly. So anyways, that's probably, that's probably it for tonight. And we'll see you guys in the morning. I think we morning. got a lot done for one day. We, and what you guys didn't see is I pulled a, another cab off another truck before we even started filming. So I'm putting the old gantry to use. This is the third cab it'll be pulling in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So we're getting there. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow morning. All right, the cab is officially ready to come off. I removed some wires and stuff like that. And it's getting warm enough, I took my jacket off. Here in the morning, it is getting colder, but uh, I do not love it. someone decided to steal my jacket. You told me. Tell them good morning. Good morning. Um, I am really excited. It's looking really rough right now, but um, we don't really need any of that. So just gonna pull it out of there and yeah. So the next step so is to pull the cab off this thing and then we got to clean the firewall up and stuff like that. And clean the yard. My gosh, show them all of our... Well, I've been... I already showed them a little. Well, kind of. <laughs> Probably said, hey, he's going to kill me. Similar to that. Yeah. <laughs> so what we got to do now is get this um, body off this thing. And then once we do, we're going to move the chassis, let the body down. And then we got to clean the firewall, kind of get rid of the unnecessary stuff like this... Um, master cylinder and the heater hoses and uh try to gut we gotta take the steering column and everything out to accept the international steering column braking system the wiring and everything because i don't know if i said this before but all the wiring and everything is going in this truck so and you, i have never seen this this, this truck has been it's kind of odd because yeah the cab is mounted off this leg which is fine, but on most trucks, the fenders are mounted to the cab. This case, in this truck's case, that's that wasn't the case. The fenders are bolted to a bracket that is bolted to the frame right here, and then they kind of support themselves off the front bumper and the running board. So this has been a little different. I like to leave the doghouse on these things so then we get the wheel well right, but this ain't the case. But I did notice that when we go to... Put this on the other truck if we just put this bracket the cab mount bracket right behind the center of the axle it should work and the cool thing should. is the frame rails are three foot wide on this truck and the cabin chassis truck that we're using is three foot wide so it shouldn't be no issue it's only like 53 foot long though she is long <laughs> yeah so we got it once we get this thing running once we get this thing running and driving, then we're going to worry about the bed, but we're going to be driving it for probably a day with it long. Probably not even a day because we're going to be excited just to go ahead and finish it. Mm -hmm. But let's, uh, let's pull this cab off. I think the viewers want to see one more dance move, like Spongebob. Yeah, Take a picture, I'm cleaning. I know, I'm recording. So they know that you do know how to use the broom. <laughs> this glad. is actually my mess. Um, this is all your mess. It's your project. Corey. 
That hey, is not true. I'm glad we had that strapped to the forklift when we ran into this. Yeah, I know. Or it been totaled. Look at us being safety. That was safety. That ratchet strap was safety. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure walking under the cab is safety, but it's fine. You'll have that? Yeah. We need a power washer. Right now, we are clearing off the firewall. Trying to. Yeah, trying to, but a lot of them, you have to be inside the cab. And, you know, it's just not possible right now. Like the lower it down. Uh -huh. Got the firewall cleared off as much as I can right now without going on the inside of the cab. And I did notice this while taking it apart. So there is a bullet hole through the passenger side floorboard of this thing. Pretty crazy. Someone had an accident or something. I don't know what happened there. Strap that's almost in half. That's from you. Oh. Yeah, I kind of messed up the window. So am I Viking it? Golly, I was hard on that. Yeah. You want a new window? No, oh, you ain't gonna be able to see looking out the back from the headache rack, anyways. I need to take the seat out. Take um, it out. Yeah. Probably needs to come out anyway. All the holes in the roof. We are taking the seat out, and I'm really excited because I talked Corey into letting me pressure wash this thing out and maybe taking some of the dark blue off and bringing back the teal. So that is what we're doing. We're taking the seat out, and I'm getting the good side. Corey's getting the gross side. This thing is going to be gorgeous, unless you drive it for a day, and I'll show them what my second gen looked like and what like, your shop truck looked like so i would get this seat recovered because it really is not terrible but um to push the clutch in all the way i have to scoot the seat all the way up and Corey doesn't have room for his legs yeah, i'm riding i'll be riding the florida on the dash <laughs> i don't know why i got a steering wheel in my hand i'll be riding in florida trying to sleep with my feet in my chest mm -hmm. so um this seat is really nice I mean, obviously not great. It's definitely but useful. Yeah, absolutely. Just not for me. So um, we're going to have to do like like a 75-25, I think that's mm -hmm. what it's called. So her side will move forward where, why my side will stand still. But I guess let's go ahead so, and you get that <laughs> and I'll get the power washer going. What? I am so mad the mice have chewed these up. That could be like Mad Max. Look at it. It's someone with eyes that were they, real how what's chewed up about them just the, this heck grandma could knit you some new <laughs> new ones on there yeah if i got could. them fixed would you wear them in florida <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll put them up there well they might be like for welding i might not be able to <laughs> 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 uh, yay hannah all right well i'm hey, gonna take now, listen don't even complain because you hadn't had to touch any of that yet i know it's not my truck for welding booby tassels <laughs> can you see yes they're for like torch and put them on your and then i did find this for the welding helmet yeah a lens i would guess wouldn't you yeah i'm trying to figure out who owns this truck because if we was to find the owner of this truck i would be willing to take it there and show them this thing when it's done so if you guys have any idea who owned this it truck it was in abbeydale kansas and it also says, what is that, McBean? McBean. And what no, was it? it says. Yeah, Mc, McBean. McVlane. McVlane. McBean. Whatever. 
uh, Barlow Construction. McVean and Barlow Construction. And I've already looked up. McVean and Barlow is a oil rig company. But what's other, what else is crazy though? Well, if you knew that information, you should know where it's from. Or get a contact. Abby Dow, Kansas. Was yeah, but they have more, they have like the well or the oil rigs out on the ocean. Mm. Well, this truck was from California, so that may be a... This truck was from California or Kansas. I don't know. We got it from Kansas, but it has California plates. But it could have been working in Kansas, and they were from California and left it in Kansas. But then it says Kansas on the door. Maybe it was leased. Maybe it was a leased truck. Maybe it was leased out of California. Maybe. <sighs> so Hannah's been cleaning this thing out, and she found this magazine in there. And it's from Abbeville, Kansas. And it's from, it's addressed to a Robert Mitzler. So, I'm pretty sure Robert Mitzler owned this truck. So, if you guys are from Abbeville, Kansas, and the area code is 67510, Abbeville, Kansas, Robert Mitzler. I'm looking for you. Um, get a hold of me somehow, or I'll get a hold of you. I'll find you. And... I'll drive, we're going to yeah, drive we this truck to you. So, if you're still kicking, I'm going to come visit <laughs> you and show you your truck after we get done. guys so i just um looked up on google and i thought we were gonna go on a road trip and go meet the guy i know all you had to do was type in google robert mitzner i was um, working on it abbeville kansas and his obituary came up and um anyway so he's watching us now work on his truck but he it said on. he was a kansas high school rodeo association from 1976 that explains the magazine yeah he was bareback rider champion bare butt yeah bare butt he was a farmer, a diesel mechanic, and an owner-operator of a trucking company. His wife, a 41-year, survives. What was her name? Hey, there you Virginia. go. Virginia. All right. You'll We're, be back. You're going to yeah. do that now. Well, you're getting there. Now we are getting ready to put this under here. Um, we just had some lunch. That way, Corey don't think that I'm a slave driver and starving We had him. leftover pizza from yesterday. Yeah, that's two meals in one. Um, but anyway, so we are gonna, I wish we could drive that thing. Yeah, that'd be cool. We're gonna roll that up here and hopefully just set the cab right down on it. Should work out, I hope. But I did get everything cleared out from this thing, such as uh, the pedal assembly, got the dash cluster out of it and everything, heater core. Plan is to put everything that was in that truck into this one. You ready? Mm -hmm. This thing's weird. Hannah says it's high enough. She's measuring somehow. Yeah. You men have your kind of math, us women have ours. Brittany told me that today. You know what she did? What? She used a curtain rod because she didn't have a measuring tape and pulled out the curtain rod and that's how she measured. And she was probably still wrong. Cab's up there. Motor's right here. Still need to come forward quite a bit. I gotta pull these front cab mounts off first. Yep. But the forklift is kind of in the way, so hopefully, I don't I know. I think we could maybe remove the forklift here in a second. At least it'll bounce. We can hop up on there and balance it. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> what do you mean, sure? Corey says we're going on a field trip. Where are we going? 
I need to know in case I need to pack a lunch. <laughs> well, I'm going to take the cab mounts off this truck. I got, a, I torched them off earlier, but uh, I'm going down here to knock them off. And then these cab mounts will set on that frame is the plan. I heard some. I thought the backhoe was rolling down the hill backwards. What was it? Buckwheat. Oh, I'll say it still could be. Look how tiny this frame is. Is that really hot? Oh. Don't let your babies grow up to be rat rotters. Give them a good tar, let them sing sad songs. But don't let them work on trucks that smell like poop. What well, kind of looks like you got poop right here? What is that? I don't know. Smell it. Is it poop? I licked it. You. No. <laughs> what is it? <that? laughs> Here is a ginormous persimmon tree. A lot of you probably don't even know what they are. They're down not here, they're not good when they're made. Down here we have a persimmon festival. Look at this. Ooh. Find a good one. They're not, I mean You can eat them. Yeah, you you can eat them. Here's one. Here, let's eat this one. Corey. You're not gonna like it. Usually they make pudding here. With those, my gosh. And when you have the runs later. <laughs> <laughs> if you crack open the seed, it'll tell you the weather for the winter. Well then crack it open. Let's let's know. Break a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't y'all you're gonna break a tooth, Corey. Try it. No. No, let them try it. <laughs> Put your tongue on it. No. No, that looks great. Put your tongue. That looks like the inside of a bug. A bug? Just yeah. try it. No. Just put your tongue on it. Get away. All right, got the front and rear cab mounts. I don't know if I said this earlier, but I'm going to use the 1960s Ford cab mounts and use them on the international cab mounts. Frame rails are the same. Man, I really hate living on a hill. It's like a workout just walking up here. So that's the plan. Where are my gloves at? Your glove? So Corey just got the um, middle part of the floor out. Transmission slash motor cover. And he's wanting to have like a weenie roast with the gas pedal. Golly, well, don't be. Where are you taking that? Hey, you set a whole woods on fire. <laughs> uh, this is a slow going progress right now. Trying to clear everything out of the way. I quit. Oh yeah? Yeah. Or we've been up and down and... You or, telling them or am I? No, we don't even have to. Just tell them what we're doing. I'm taking a break. Corey's taking a break. Um, those Actually, are not... I'm going on strike. Why? Because this dollar ain't crap. This bull crap pay. My paycheck shouldn't pay for your fudge rounds. I like fudge rounds. <laughs> Alright, so what we're doing now is... Raising the cab up, what you guys haven't seen, or maybe, I don't know. I don't know what all I'm putting in this video, but we raised this up earlier and the forklift was in the way. So now we're going to raise it up for the second time. We got the our bar strapped to the front of the wing windows, so it can't go forward and it can't go back. The strap here is going to make it where it can't go back because the last thing we want to do is get 10, 10 foot in the air and move it and it flip forward. So we are trying to be safe. I know it's a new one for you so i guess uh now let's uh 
Crunches yeah, we're, be, yeah. we're yeah. being very safe. Yeah, with our strap that's about, yeah. Crunched in half, You weren't yes. supposed to show them that. We're being safe. All right, let's uh, chain lift this baby up. Sweet. Well, this is your shrimp. Tom Thorpe. You're upside down. Tom Thorpe. Mm. Man, that sounds familiar. Did we talk to them? That's Ohio. We just got some mail. We and I wonder who it's from. We just got a letter. We just got uh, a letter. Speaking of mail, I guess we could open these now. UPS truck just showed up, and we got some boxes. Yes. We're gonna check them out, see what they are. That sounds I like bet. oil can. <laughs> I heard a dunk, the dunk, the I dunk. did too. Well, you open it, cause it's probably not for me then. You work on that one, and I'll work on this one. Done. Maybe. Hold on, we're waiting on Hannah. Yeah, you are. Hold on. Oh. Woo! All right. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are full. Oh wow. That one's cool. Ford qualified. These are so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, and a little guy. <laughs> oh my. Oh gosh, well thank you, Tom. Let's see what you got. It's probably for you, so you open it. No, one. you can open it. It's still for you, because you got to build shelves for these. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got a funnel. Oh uh, yeah? I'll probably actually use this. <laughs> But Not yeah. if it's decoration. Cool. Okay, I think we did talk to him about these. Yeah, I do know that. Mm -hmm. Remove this box. <laughs> this is pretty. cool. Let's go top off the floods in your truck. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tom. I am so excited. I really do need a whole like border around that room uh, for my oil cans. That's so awesome getting these i mean i love them all right back to what we were doing yes go put your cans up i like this little guy you sure it wasn't a hat i i don't think it's a hat babe it's like the radio and you have to move the antenna you know what that reminds me of teletubbies no i was talking about the <laughs> at ford's garage they have those onion ring things we can serve our onion rings that we don't make on this. That'd be cool. All right, here's where we're at. These, is mm -hmm. that hitting? I think that needs to come back. This is going to be a little challenging because most of the time I leave the dog houses on these things. Well, this dog house don't stay with the cab on this particular truck. It stays with the chassis, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But right out of the gate, these um, X-Brace for the uh, radiator core support holder, this is going to have to come out. We can relocate them later. I honestly think the chassis needs to go backwards a shade. But the oil dipstick tube is what she was pointing out is hitting at the moment. So we got a little bit of work to do and we'll be back. What do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is where we're at. We're kind of, it looks really cool. I will give it that. We're, we're getting excited, but, uh, <laughs> I think I might do this a little different instead of putting the cab on, like I was saying, I usually leave the dog houses with the bodies but this truck well, that's not it, an option. It, it don't work like that so instead of putting the cab on first i just told hannah i said hey let's just put the fenders on and then we'll build the truck from the fenders back so we'll put the fenders where they go 
and then make the cab up to it. Otherwise, we're going to be putting the cab down and just 100% guessing it. it. Yeah. yeah. So let's take the cab back up. I'm not going to bore you with any more time lapses because I'm sure you guys are like, oh my gosh, another time lapse. But um, I'm going to take this cab up, or we're going to take this. We're going to take this cab up, and let's get the fenders on it, and we'll be right back. Well, it worked. I might as well cut this out. What? This piece here. Maybe. Let's try to go down and see if that'll clear. Okay. Where's that AC line? Oh, that's good. Oh, I got it. Oh. Uh, Thanks for that. There, now go down. Yeah, that one's good. Alright. Yeah. Well, you guys know that, I'll catch it. I need to go down more. Because the cab mounts ain't it, you think? It's gonna be really, really tall. Oh, thought it was a snake. You'll need a ladder to get it up right there. Right there. Come search me. There. Go put this thing. It really don't look that bad. <laughs> it's a lot, nice. lot taller than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to either move the it, fuel tanks up. It looks better with the hood on it. I will say that. I think maybe move move the fuel tanks up and the battery tray up. Yeah. Just to kind of get rid of that void. Mm-hmm. Have to add another step on yeah. there. <laughs> So there's the top of the head, or the valve cover. It is in there. I cut a little bit out of the firewall, as you can see. Probably have to run the air cleaner inside the cab. It's really, it, only thing is just tall, but it's not terrible. I mean, it looked like that when it was on the other truck. It wasn't this tall. No, but it looked like that on the original truck. Cause oh, yeah, I know. The truck we took it from was a straight frame rail just like that. So, I mean, it looked that goofy. It looked better once the bed's on it. But the only thing with the bed... You don't think we should use the fuel tanks? The factory? That truck's fuel tanks? Um, you could, I guess. 
You have to move the batteries. You've been thinking, she really wants it about three inches shorter at least, because it's- At least, and that's what we can do easily without buying bags and spending money. So, um- That thing is stupid tall. Humongous. I mean, look at the, the door handle. <laughs> so- the... Imagine it's gonna make me look small, and I ain't a small girl now. Whatever. So the plan of attack is this is about this is probably going to be the end of this video, but I think what we're going to do is take these cab mounts. These are off the original truck, but for now we're going to let the body slide on down and then put the cab mounts here and then on the fenders just simply come up, measure 3 inches roughly like this, slide this bracket up here and that will bolt right back to the frame. This will stay the same. The only dilemma we have really now is the steering. So we're gonna to have to get a little fancy with it. Here's the gearbox and it goes right into the cab mount. The cab mount is moving down three inches. And the reason we say three inches, we can't go down no further because the hood comes down and we got about three inches in there. If we go any lower than three inches, we're gonna to have to start lowering the radiator and the intercooler and all that stuff. And I think three inches will, will help. And we had an idea on, um, the batteries so right now we got a giant gap i was wanting to leave these i was wanting to leave all this alone but the giant gap kind of sucks even at three inches it's still going to be a, a pretty decent sized mm -hmm. gap so i think what we're going to do is take this original fuel tank here this one goes on the driver's side carve it out on the the back side and the bottom leave the top and the front and the sides and sleeve it over the batteries to hide it, get rid of this fuel tank completely. And then on the other side, we're gonna use the 1965 we'll have to fuel the tank. Somewhere too. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. We did as much as we can. And I mean, for two days worth of work, I'd say we got quite a bit done, but that was the easy, not really easy, but easy part. Now it's figuring out where Absolutely. everything goes and the it's wiring. easy yeah it's easy taking apart something and it's fun putting it back together but it's a challenge because the gearbox and you know the cab mounts and stuff like that this thing is crazy tall yeah i'm excited for you but it's literally like you could stand another hannah on top of uh -huh. your head and still be at the top yeah so but. um right now we've got to be done with it for a week um which really sucks but I work open and close every day, so um, that they're open Wednesday through Saturday, and then Sunday we'll hit it hard again, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but until then, you'll have to put up with Corey working on the Grumman yeah. and the cab over. So this is going to be our Monday, Tuesday project, and then the rest of the time I'm in the shop, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Only time I'm not in the shop Saturday is if I'm at a show, but uh, I got to get this stuff done. The Grumman is coming along but without us rambling on guys we'll see you guys next we're hungry, Wednesday at so six right now we're, we're going like, okay well we will see you guys next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe